happen. Interview with a porn star, Danny Daniels. I just appreciate the irony in this interview. She said it doesn't work with civilians because they get jealous and insecure, but then says when you date porn stars, you get jealous and insecure. Sounds like a problem with people in general. <laughs> she seems like she would be a cool person to hang out with. Eh, you will get jealous. You will still get jealous. Spoken like an insecure civilian. I love how confident she is. This, These people definitely came from the... Like me, came from the Ab and Preach video. I love how confident she is and how much she loves what she does. That's what you need as a human being. You need to love what you do. I love the person she is. Also, she's. Be oh, God. Bro. She literally did a 180 and became a civilian. Yep. She can be a good actress in Hollywood. She have this very. Oh, my God. Expressive face. Her sound is very natural and sweet. She's perfect for both tomboy roles as well as the sweet, innocent girl. Oh, my God. Airport so I know has serious mental health issues and financial problems. I'm friends with a lot of retired actors, directors, and producers. Maybe, I don't know. They get me far away from the industry to protect me. I'm a musician from LA, so I knew a lot of strippers and adult actors. My best friend was very famous in the 90s. He tells me all the time how he wished he just worked at a normal job when he was young and that sex is like a handshake to him now. Totally desensitized. Don't let the interview fool you. I know she acts like she's happy. Maybe she is for now. I wish I could take the pain and suffering away from my friends. Quick easy cash is a recipe for disaster. Good luck to the younger generation. Hopefully you'll be happy at some point in your life. Take care. To each his own. Normal person having a normal job have more stress than normal. Someone being in the industry. Some people are literally built for certain things, but... Either way, to I don't know, man. The suicide rate and depression rate of porn stars is actually substantially higher than a lot of other jobs. Ugh. Also, if sex is like a handshake now to your friend, maybe he shouldn't have slept with all those girls. Not every dog that barks you gotta throw a bone to. He was responsible, and the sad thing is, he's now... Psychological effect. Life isn't all about physical... What? Also, if sex is like a handshake now to your friend, maybe he shouldn't have slept with all those girls. That's his point. This guy is mental. That was his point. He wasn't bragging about it. That was a problem. Oh my god. Said how we have become so shameless as a society. No genuine man would ever want to come within 10 feet, let alone date this woman. This is how the club society is... I mean, club society is a bit... I mean, we always had prostitutes, so... Uh, starts, we're already in the middle of the collapse. <laughs> Alright, let's see what Danny Daniels has to say about being a parser. <clears throat> Holy hell. That is loud as fuck. Tell us a little bit about where you're from, how you grew up, and how you got, got here. I am originally from Orange County. I grew up normal. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went to college, went to art school, dropped out because it was too expensive. And it's art um, school, so you're not going to get anything. My student loans, yep. and I overheard at. Tell us about your daddy issues. Strip to. Like, the first thing she did. Well, probably not the first thing, but it's like, bro, you could have could have been a server, could have, like other shit, you know? It's like, could have gotten any job, really. I was stripping. Mm -hmm. um, that you can be a girl girl porn star. So, my uh -huh. ears perked up because I'm bisexual and... Yeah, no, you're not... Look, I love this. You're not bisexual. You're promiscuous. You just like... You just like sex, okay? It's different. It's the difference between being bisexual. That's, answer, that's what I think it is. You're bisexual just like... You just like sex. It doesn't matter with who, it doesn't matter where, you just like sex. Like, you're not bisexual, you're just like a nymphomaniac. Okay, and it's like, my ears perked up because I heard you can fuck girls for a living. Yeah. And I um, went to LA, signed with an agent, and started banging girls for money. You can tell she's a bit ashamed the way she says it. Look look at it. Look, look at her face. So, expression. my ears perked up because I'm bisexual, and I... Um, She's looking LA, here, she's looking there, and like she can't look her in the eyes as she says it. She's embarrassed about this, right? It's for money. And here we are. <laughs> and here we are. And it's just slowly evolved, but yeah. So you would say that you had like a pretty normal childhood. Okay. Yeah. 
totally normal. I mean, well, I guess I think it's normal. I mean, no one like beat me or raped me or like I didn't have like a broken home. Mm -hmm. um, I did grow up with two moms. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, man. Bisexual is by choice, right? It's not. It's uh, not uh, nature involved at all. Uh, being uh, gay or whatever, uh, and also, yeah, again, like I said, daddy issues. No father in the home. Oh, that is very. I guess you could say that's different, but it's you know, I consider it normal. Yeah, it's pretty. I think these days, especially pretty yeah. normal. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's a problem. That it's not normal to have a father in the home. I'm just saying, it is a problem. Having two dads, having two moms, is not overall normal by majority consensus it's not normal right can't happen yeah is it not allowed no do i have a problem with it not really all i'm saying is normal not really as well you want a mommy you want dad because female and male offer very different things to their child i grew up with parents who were pornographers but that's normal to me yeah, yeah you're like i feel like it's normal yeah exactly and you still have a good relationship with your family mm -hmm. that's great my mom's my best friend um, she's very, very supportive. She actually wanted to go to AVN last year, and I told her no. <laughs> so, like, you know they play, like, clips, and she's like, never mind. <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> I show my mom my covers. I'm like, I, I want to show you a picture. I'm not naked, but just look how pretty this picture is. <laughs> um, the rest of my family um, uh, is from Arkansas. Mm -hmm. So a um, little bit of Missouri, but mainly Arkansas. And they're very Episcopalian. Mm -hmm. So... Um, she can wait. Look at her arm. Chubby arm. Yeah, when they found out, it was a very southern thing to do to just not speak of it. Mm. And uh, my grandmother finally, like, years later, like, slipped up at the mouth once and, like, mentioned it. And I was like, oh, Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're all cool with it. That's great. So, um, tell us a little bit about, like, how you got started in the industry. I didn't watch porn before porn. Like, I, yeah. I knew what porn was, and mm -hmm. like, but I, I didn't grow up like, I'm gonna be a porn star, and then, like, watch a bunch of porn, and then, yeah. like, it just didn't happen like that. Like Yeah, it wasn't that normal back then, I guess, but, uh, still, you became a stripper. Like, I'm assuming you watched some porn. At least by the time you got to college. I just wanted to get laid. Yeah. So I was like, this is an easy, safe way for me to get laid. And I'm making money. This sounds like a really good idea. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I didn't know anyone. And it was funny because when I first started, um, Elegant shot me in a girl-girl scene. Mm -hmm. And they did. I did this radio thing for them. And they held up, like, ten, the top ten greatest porn stars of all time. Mm -hmm. Including, like, Hayden Cross and Lisa, Na Lisa Ann. And, like, I couldn't name any of them. And they thought it was the funniest thing on the planet. That they're like, "Do you know who this is?" And I'm like, "No." But they're like, "That's Lisa Ann." Like, how do you not know who Lisa Ann is? And like, it how was do just, you not know yeah. who Lisa Ann is? So, but <laughs> I got in. I did a couple solos because I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna see if this is cool. If it's bad, at least it's just my vagina." Like, you know, mm -hmm. it was kind of like a toe in the water. Mm -hmm. And I did like a couple solo shoots, including the Dean one. I was like, I'm good. Go, girl. Let's go. I'm just gonna light them up. <laughs> okay. There's a commercial break? I guess it was a commercial break. <laughs> Holy fuck. Tell us a little bit about where you're from, how you grew up, and how you got here. I am originally from Orange County. I grew up normal <laughs> okay. I mean no one like beat me or but yeah. <laughs> how you got started in the industry I I I can do it porn star no no solo shoots like the most about being a okay. adult performer interesting um I get to have mind blowing sex safely I've had sex with more people at 25 than most people have in there. Um, what do you mean by safely? Is it like they're not gonna do anything to you? That's, I would say, pretty rare cases. But you're actually a lot less safe now as a porn star because you're known to fuck. So it's like if you're on the street, like you are more likely to be attacked by a stalker than if you were just like a regular chick going to a bar and just hooking up with a dude safely is in like what diseases first of all not that common second of all protection their entire life which some people would perceive as very gross but for me yes I ever very gross if i'm dating you 
very cool uh, or like pretty hot if I'm not dating you. Married someday, I'm never gonna be regretful or wonder or mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Yeah, because actions don't have consequences in the future. Fist in a girl's ass. I've had my fist in a man's ass. Wow. I've fucked a guy in the ass. I've fucked a girl in the ass. I have fucked. I have had strap yeah. on sex. I've had an. Damn, I can't believe that's like. I would no, never experience most of these things. How am I to live my life without this curiosity? How does it feel to fuck a guy in the ass or a girl in the ass? Hmm. Yeah, very, very interesting things to find out, right? Energy with ten women. I have fucked two guys at the same time and done this. Wow. Like, there's, there's nothing that I'm gonna wonder about right if i go get married tomorrow and they're like yeah but who's know, gonna I, I marry you porn anymore just hypothetically i'm not gonna be like i wonder what it would be like to have sex with a woman or i wonder yeah. what it would be like, like have sex with two guys like yeah i get to explore all why would normally would you, would you think about that i mean you can fantasize about stuff i guess but it's like that is such a weird like weak argument it's like that's not something you should be fantasizing about especially past your teens you know it's like if you're 20 like 22 you shouldn't be fantasizing about this shit you know it's like, oh how, what's it like to fuck multiple women at the same time honestly not gonna lie it's tedious you only have one dick okay it's annoying <laughs> it's like you have to work your arm you have to be in position you don't take breaks you can't come early you have to satisfy two women it's work it's not easy okay both those things safely yeah. and get paid for it. Yeah. By the way, you could have this really good sex today and we're going to give you a paycheck. <laughs> and we do your makeup and your hair. Yes! <laughs> yes! And if you want to reminisce later down the road, you just go on the internet. Just go check it out, go watch it <laughs> and relive it. Um, what is your least favorite thing uh, about being a performer? My least favorite thing? Everyone thinks I'm dumb. Yeah, it's really, it's frustrating. Like, people think, A, you're going to fuck them right mm -hmm. off the bat. Yeah. B, I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. And if they have never seen me, I don't know why. Like if I was dating a guy and he's like, oh, you're gonna meet my girlfriend, she's a porn star. I am blonde with big fake tits. Mm -hmm. Like that's just what I look like. Mm -hmm. So it's sad because I'm not ashamed of having sex for money. Like I fucking love it. And so a lot of people like- It's like, you I, could, like it, I don't know if you're dumb or smart. I would say you are Oh, how do you describe this when someone's just like you you are not gonna have a very deep conversation with about like interesting toppings toppings topics right so you're not gonna have like a really deep conversation with someone like if a guy were to marry her he would have to keep the conversation surface level all the time you know, like it's, I don't know. At least that's what I get from her. I don't know how she's a person, but it's like, I'm not gonna, like, probably not gonna have life philosophy questions with this chick, you know? I'm in a crowd of well educated people or people that aren't in the sex industry, or if I'm in a dinner party and this mm. person's a dentist and this person's a doctor, and, mm. you know, I'm the dumbest person in the room by judgment. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, the idiot. Like, usually. Oh, you don't know what that means. You're a porn star. Like, that's sweet. Go sit in the corner and do your hair. Like, <laughs> and it sucks, but that's, you know, it's just, I wish people would see that. Not, some of us are dumb. There are some girls in the industry, but in any job, you know. Yeah, there's some dumb people all over the world. Yeah, yeah justify, the justify. Secretary, yeah. Like, how the fuck does she drive a car? <laughs> you know? So, I mean, and there are dumb humans of the world. We're just not all dumb, right? Like, we're not all whores. I'm not going to have sex with you because I'm a porn star. Like, I'm not gonna go fuck the mechanic because I don't have the money to pay for my car to get fixed. <laughs> like, that doesn't happen in real life, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. It so could. So you say then to, you know, people who uh, say, Porn stars are gross? Yeah, okay. The porn is degrading or exploiting <laughs> porn. Um, I think that everyone has a right to feel what they feel. Uh, let's I mean, see. some people get offended by porn. Some people think that, you know, like you said, degrading women. I, I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. I think, if anything, porn has given me more self-confidence than I could have ever asked for. Like, 
I mean, I have people that I went to high school with that are like, you are the quietest person that sat in the corner and never spoke. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, look at me! I'm like, taking all the dicks! And eating all the pussy! And like, here's my butthole! Like, so... <laughs> it's like those girls that's like, uh, go to like, uh, religious schools or whatever. Uh, Catholic schools. And their parents just tell them like, you can't do anything and then you set them loose on the world and they just like get into like massive orgies <laughs> yeah the slottiest are the catholic chicks right the other relationship they can have our cock relationships yeah experience talking yeah basically yeah yeah thanks experience talking <laughs> catholic schools have orgies like it's a it's a curriculum <laughs> catholic schools have orgies <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Uh, sec. Lesbian orgies. Yeah, basically. Let me see. You wanna hop on disc? These three girls I spoke with told me they had lesbian stuff. Yeah, mom? Okay. Let me... Let me find ya. Calling, calling. Yo. Um, one sec. Oh yeah, cause it changed my um my mic settings, right? Uh, let's see this one and where is my this go? All right, should be good now. Can you hear me? If you can, I can't hear you. By the way. Oh, you le your your mic is not connected. M I S K E mic. Uh, yeah, okay. These three girls I spoke with told me they had lesbian stuff. I like I I imagine they would have lesbian stuff. I mean, hormones going crazy, but like orgies and shit. Uh, no, I can't hear you yet. You probably have to go to the settings and choose the mic. Actually, let me see. Oh, it's my settings. Oh, should be. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's my bad. Um, there we go. I right, should be good now. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of poor quality. I think. You can hear me, but it's poor quality. Oh yeah, it's a uh, massive uh, white noise in between, like when you talk. Yeah, I had this before, I have no idea what the fuck to do with this shit, it's so annoying. Yeah, it is what it is, it's fine, like it's understandable, just don't yell and it'll be fine, I guess. <laughs> don't do what? <laughs> <laughs> don't yell at me! Hold Anyways, on, let me uh... Try, let me try to switch microphones, tell me if another data one sounds better, one sec. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. As you know, I've been having trouble with my microphone. Microphone? Been having trouble? Yeah, I think porn should be illegal. What? I think porn should be illegal, it should be very difficult to... Oh, porn illegal? Hmm... I don't know but it's very difficult to get. I don't think it should be as rampant as it is. Um... It uh, destroys so many men that uh, I can't it before it. One sec, let me switch the microphone and let's see if it works. Yep. Hmm. Calm of mouth. That's about the same. Same thing? Yeah, it's about the same. It's fine. It's understandable. Okay, so porn should be illegal, huh? Like, I understand what you're saying, right? I understand why you're saying it, because, like, it's harmful, not only for men, for women, too, overall. It does way more harm than good. I told you, this guy on YouTube, uh, Cooper Sterling, he's a, yeah, yeah. he's a porn star. Yep. And he's like, I love, I love my job, I love what I do. You guys, like, um, his uh, channel is a lot about, like, helping people, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he's like, I don't want you guys watching my work because blah, 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 brain damaging, blah, blah, blah. It's true. Yeah. It's I know plenty of people whose lives it absolutely ruined. It ruined the libido, it ruined, it ruined their sex life. Yeah, 100%. Plenty. I know, I know people, like actual people I know have had issues with it. 
yeah like it makes you very apathetic and like honestly i would say i can see easily what how porn affected me overall as well because like i'm very yeah. I like way too selective on girls every little thing is like you know because like it's you're true, not you're true. not picture yeah. perfect right it's like the girl is never picture perfect you find a flaw and it's like in your face meanwhile in porn you don't see this like... yeah exactly they are, they're they're actually like that's what they are they are picture perfect right i'm, I'm like um, super against it like yeah. super against porn as yeah. much as uh, i am always for freedom and uh, do whatever you want mm -hmm. I, am, I think this is one of those things that's like a quiet killer of uh, men, a quiet killer of relationships, uh, a quiet killer of, I don't know, people's mental like, uh, literally, it's, uh, it's like a Trojan horse, it kind well, of it's, castrates you. Well, it's also you know technically I mean? a cardinal sin, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever, that's like a different story. Well, no, I mean, like, it, it leads to that, where it's like... Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not I'm not going for that. Play. I'm not going for a religious standpoint. I'm just saying that it's like... The, there is a reason lust is a cardinal sin, right? Because lust ruins men, right? It ruins people, right? It's like, oh. we can go into the religion aspect, like, I don't care about that. But I'm saying, like, the logic behind why lust is a cardinal sin is because of what it does to people. But right. the thing is, isn't it the cardinal sense of to lust for your neighbor's wife? It's not to, like, because you can lust your own wife. That's not a bad thing, right? You, well, it's like the poor promise. Like, I want to get home and mm. up. Well, I'm, like, talking more about the pros uh, promiscuity of it, you know? Of just, yeah, like, well, wanting to fuck. Promiscuity is also, like, the whole sex revolution thing. And yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, it low-key to ruin the women's lives and uh, oh, yeah. lifestyles. Yeah, yeah, there's a... They always come at you with the, with the face of like, oh, this is the best new thing, it's good for you, we care about you. And at the end, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. many people to point, you have kids, have failed relationships, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's all the most, like I said. Well, the thing is, and, and this is it's like in a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thing with me is, I actually, I am all for, not just sexual evolution, I want to be like even more than that. The re and my reasoning is actually like exactly. not for what you think it is. Maybe more than that, sexual evolution, more than what we have now. More, more. I want like I want people to like go crazy about this. You know why? What? People about, like, like going people like fucking yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. I want like a full generation to go like full slot mode. Okay. As an education for people to not do that. To see how the, the these people's lives will be ruined. It's already been. It's already like that, right? It's the it's there. It's Sean, it is there. Sean yeah. Is starting to emerge, yeah. like by the way of Andrew Tate or whatever. This is like the latest uh, face of it all. Yeah, yeah, um, I agree. I think that like that counter sexual revolution started because we've had it since the 60s, since the invention of the. Buster. Yeah, it's been getting worse and worse. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's like uh, the quality of the women you meet, the quality of the men you meet, uh, people's mentality. I don't know, it literally feels like a, what's it called, like a setup. Give me one sec, my coworker's calling. I'm calling yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah. yeah, I'll just keep talking about that. Oh, so, okay. yeah. There I go. Yeah, <laughs> but get away from the mic. <laughs> this guy, uh, where is it? Hmm, how do you mute this though? Uh, there we go, mute. Okay, so um, basically what I'm saying is like why I want to get worse. I want people to see how bad it actually can get uh, and like how many lives this would actually ruin. So people would have that uh, thing out of their head where it's like they think that's like, oh, we want this, we want this, we want this, but it's like, no, you don't. Here's living proof of why you don't want this, right? A lot of, right, a lot of like the mentalities right now is like, well, where's the research paper on this? How do you know it's going to be so bad? And it's like, yeah, you, you can, you can just go into philosophy and say like, oh yeah, this is going to be so bad and all that stuff. But people want proof. They want the research, right? So it's like, here you go. Here's gonna, this is gonna be your research right now, of how bad it can actually be, uh, because of all these like porn stars and like basically slut mentality. Women basically and like, uh, and uh, like women are like, you know what a gold digger is? A gold digger is just literally like, 
uh, the, the up class escort. So you have like you have prostitutes, you have escorts, and then you have the gold digger. That's really what a gold digger is, right? It's like she just like sells her life, her body, everything for the men's money, right? It's like that's all it is, really. Like, can she screw him over later with the losses and whatever? Yeah, if the man is smart, you know, like he, she won't be able to, but. That's pretty much what it is, and it's like, it gets to the point where, like, a lot of men are just like, yo, fuck this shit, you know, it's, like, it's not worth it. And it is getting to a point where, like, men are walking away from a lot of it, right? And a lot more men are, like, stop dating these chicks that are, like, very promiscuous, you know? A nymph is great, like, don't get me wrong, like, going with a nymph and just, like, fucking all the time is great, but that, that's not, usually that's not your wife material. Your wife material usually is, like, something that you see in, like, old movies where, like, it was a very conservative or very um, traditional family type thing. That's usually what men would prefer as a wife. They don't want the fucking nymphomaniac because, listen, if you start getting busy and, like, you don't have time to fuck her, like, the likelihood of her cheating on you is bigger uh, than if she wasn't like that, right? Same with like dating somebody who smashed hundreds of guys. Once she gets married, it's like, well, I only get to fuck one guy. So, uh, well, this is not fun. Then she goes like, I remember fucking like three black dudes and they had massive dicks. I kind of missed that. I want to do that again, right? It's like she's saying that she's, um, you know, I experienced all of it, so I'm not curious. Yeah, but you experienced all of it will can also make you miss it more because you already know what it's like. No shit like that. Uh, sorry, I had you muted because uh, you were talking on the phone. DJ Bolt, you there? Big diddles. Anyways, I'm gonna go on with the video. <laughs> it's made me very confident. I can walk into a room. Like, when I got yeah, my business, I didn't know how to hit on women. Alright. Mute as it is. I didn't know how to pick up women. I really wanted to have sex with women, but I didn't know how. I can go to any bar, and I will confidently say this because I did it last weekend, and pick any girl up you pick. Like, and I can like, and I'm not like gonna go have sex with that person, but I have the confidence that if I see something that I want, whether it be sex or just anything, I have self-confidence to go do that. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, like, you can be self-confident without everything she's done. Like, that's like, her, it's not necessarily that she got it because of the job. The job could have added to it. But it's not necessarily because of it. And it's like, I would say the older you get, the more experience you get, the more confident you will be about it, right? It's like, just, you know, just do it kind of thing. It's like, well, who cares, right? It's like, it, this, this is not a life changer. Like, I don't, I, like, I get, I understand her argument, but at the same time, it's like any confidence, like molding experiences any self-esteem molding experiences is like gonna give you the same pretty much result right it's like it's not that big of a deal to say that it's like you have to do porn or uh, i'm not saying she she's not saying you have to porn but she's saying that's like because of porn she's like that i would say maybe she grew out of her shy shell and now she's uh you know now she can do that and i don't i don't really know why but I can guess why, but porn has given me so much confidence. Yeah, for sure, like being naked in front of people. But it also could have been the stripper job, you know? It's like, you know, the stripper job gave you the confidence to go into porn, right? It's like, maybe you were that confident. Like, you're also like, how confident do you have to be to go into stripper? You probably became more confident during college years as well, right? Maybe the, like, the fact that you weren't making money made you like brave enough to do that shit you know dj bolt still on yes, the phone hello. Oh, okay yeah i had you hello. muted because you were on the phone oh yeah yeah i just uh, didn't know if you unmuted me yet i i did yeah All right. gotcha okay yeah mm -hmm. maybe she missed the hole Oh yeah, she. I mean. Okay, well. Okay, so you missed the. I think you missed the part where she like her uh, like humble beginnings, right? She went to college for an art major. Dropped out, couldn't pay the bills, became a stripper. It wasn't like something in between. She's just like, yeah, I dropped out. I had to pay my bills, so I became a stripper. There was nothing in between. She says that porn made her confident. You have to be pretty confident. 
<laughs> you're not you guys are that. fucking mental midget. Let's be honest. <laughs> Right? What the fuck do you expect from her? If that's the train of thought, like, do you come oh, looking at her like... This is it? Right? Okay. Mental midget. And everything, she's made more money bring, uh, showing her pussy uh, more money than you and I combined. Both of us have seen her pussy and her butthole and we've seen like weird shit that she does. Yeah. But she's married to some fucking rich cock now, right? Fuck if I know what she's on right now. Yeah, she's married to some fucking older dude. Dan Daniels is married? You sure? I don't yeah, even know. Yeah, with a kid. Oh, yeah, God. Man. I mean, so good luck. Uh, uh, how much you want to bet the guy she married was like her biggest fan or some shit? It could be. She said, he's definitely a cuck. He's into that. There's oh, yeah. 100%. Wrong People want to do their own shit. I'm not going to judge a man who's Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, right? whatever. You want to be a cuck, you're a cuck. That's fine. Like, I'm not here to, like, hate on the guy. But it's like... But that's the people she's going to get. Yeah. But I don't give a fuck what you do in the bedroom. Uh, 100%. You know I mean? Yeah. Fuck, I forgot what my train of thought was. But the thing is, it's not the thing. <laughs> Happens it's a lot. Like this uh, sexual revolution and this, like, female power that even a fucking slut bag like this, that in any other society in the world uh, would be stoned. Up to you, be stones. You know what I mean? For the things she's done. She, in the Western society, she still gets uh, married and still has her <clears throat> happily ever after. It's a man yeah. fucking bust their nuts and never she get on anything. Even if she did everything right. It's an economy <laughs> that women don't understand. It's easy. They're living a life on easy mode. It is easy mode. It is straight up easy mode. Or not. Every man you and I know, we look you in line and say, if I had this and a pussy, I would be a multi millionaire. <laughs> oh god bro um, by the way remind me i need to give you my mic so you have a decent mic <laughs> it's like half of it was uh, semi uh, you I get a it, it could be but like the funniest thing is uh your mic is like self-censoring so it's like most of the like very bad shit you said i could kind of understand still but it was like that's when, like, it really went bad on your mind, so it's like self-censoring bad work. Shit, Mike. Let me try to put it at the back uh, of the computer. Yeah. What is this shit? Yeah, try that. Usually it's a better connection to the back. <laughs> so good. Self-censoring mic, bro. I love it. Alright, let's see what she says next. Then Daniels is married? Really? Who is she married to? Victor... Tipola. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Better? Uh, Same? It's a bit better. It's like when you start doing like bigger uh, speeches, we'll probably. Uh, Is that her husband? Let's better. see. No, yeah, no, that's her husband. That yeah. Okay, not only that. Oh my god. Not only does she get married and have a kid by him and he's supporting her. Yeah. She and... gets fat. Oh yeah, for sure. You can see in this video already. Look at her arms. How the fuck like, are you gonna do that, girl? To this guy? How the, yo, I don't understand. You can look in this video when she raises her arm. You see, like her arm is like fatter than it, like it's supposed to be for like what she is, right? Uh, it's like a personal, uh, personal trainer shit. <laughs> it's like you notice when people are getting fat. Yeah, dude. These are the role models they have, uh, and Lana Rhodes. Oh my god, bro. Lana Rhodes, the fight. Oh, I can't. Yes, we all want to fuck a girl like Lana Rhodes. That's wild, that's a porn star, that anything goes. Yeah. And you don't then... want to marry her, you don't want to jizz in her. Bro, yeah. You're jizzing her, and alarm bells are going to start ringing behind your balls, Zach, and behind your ears going, What the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's awesome. It's funny because. I hate Sorry. that this. Interviewer. <laughs> what? What's off limits on the stream? Uh, like, like, the R word and the N word for the most part. Yeah. The R, like the medical word. You can say pretty much whatever. Just don't be racist and yeah, that's basically it. You know. Racist, that's not a problem. You know, like, 
<laughs> Common yeah, sense, you'll probably get it. You know, it's like yeah, it's not. Uh, and say, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is not. Truths. This is not a kid-friendly stream. Yeah. Gotcha. I can say harsh truths without. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's feelings. Yeah. They if they didn't ban uh, what's his name, uh, our Lord and Savior, um, Jesus Christ. Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate. Then... <laughs> <laughs> they didn't ban I'm Andrew Tate. I want You're good. Stream. I want. This is like a contract with me and the people. <laughs> if Andrew Tate keeps going the way he's going and keeps preaching what he's preaching, yeah. I would rather follow him and his teachings than Jesus Christ. I said it. All right, there you have it. <laughs> Andrew, All right. give me a call. I think we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> let me let me take note of that timestamp right there. <laughs> I have a lot to discuss with you. I have some ideas you might find interesting. Yeah. What do you want your uh, uh, internet title to be? DJ Bolt? Or no big, big diddles, diddles? I guess. I got, I got no big diddles? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no big diddles. Uh, what was it? Um, commitment. <laughs> commitment to the community. Commitment to the Tate community. <laughs> no, just to, okay, to the. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. That's. But you know what I hate most? This interviewer is not asking her any real question, and she just agrees and like, yeah, wow, that's great, yeah, yeah, you I'm go, girl. The, oh um, my god, yeah. that it's I find it extremely difficult to find a good interviewer who challenges the interviewee. Yeah, it's hard. It's, not only do they challenge the interviewee, they hard f- questions though. They Give hard questions. Interesting questions. You know what I mean? They, yeah. they, I like Lex Friedman. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Um, Lex Friedman? Friedman. Friedman? Yeah. He is an MIT professor. Mm hmm. This guy, yes. Black belt in Jiu Jitsu. Oh, that's what I like. Uh, <laughs> Russian born. Uh, yeah. but you see, look at who he had. He had uh, Mark Zuckerberg. He had Elon Musk on recently. Mm. Good questions. And yeah. this guy, he's a professor in MIT, and mm-hmm. man, he recently had the CIA guy. Yeah. Who, this guy worked undercover, actual undercover CIA. What are <laughs> you watching? Movies and shit like that, you know? Okay. And bro, that was one of the most interesting conversations I've ever heard. Because they talk about a wide, a wide yeah, array yeah, yeah. of topics. Ukraine, blah, blah, blah. But you listen to a person who's worked with the CIA yeah. in the MIT... Uh, professor discuss things and they mm. put it into words that any person can understand. Okay. It's unbelievable. They just, you know what I mean? Okay, I'll look you at some of this stuff. I just in silence just listen to this too, you know? Okay, yeah. I just don't want to waste too much time talking about that, but yeah, I'll, I'll look into that a bit more after as well. Alright, let's okay. keep going with this shit. Let's read Daniel Daniels and new butthole if that's <laughs> even possible. No, not, not possible for sure. How much uh-huh. you want to bet she's she will or is cheating on her husband? I bet she will. For sure. Well, he's a cuck. Yeah. I so bet. I bet it. he's recording her cheating on him. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. He, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Whatever. To each her own, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah if he likes it. Yeah, also. It's like I want to see my wife get thing, fucked. Another thing that comes mm. from men watching porn. Yeah. Becoming that cucks. Comes from when or over stimulated by porn. Yeah, watching becoming cuck. Girl get fucked by another guy. Yeah, yeah. you become cuck because that's what you're watching. Yeah, your brain's getting gets that uh, dopamine from watching another girl get fucked. People. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it makes sense. That's why, if you must watch porn, lesbian porn is okay. <laughs> okay. Lesbians, I have nothing against. <laughs> okay. Are you afraid of public nudity? Oh, we got you. There's a website for that. <laughs> There's a website. For that. <laughs> I think Daniel Daniels is on mute, thank God. Never mind, your stream is on mute. I can't hear the stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you put the CC on? What do you like the most about being uh, yeah. a adult performer? Um, I get to have mind-blowing sex safely. Okay, I don't know why it keeps repeating itself. We already listened to this. Also, I think the, maybe it's like on repeat. Yeah. It's like yeah, it like repeats every time it comes back from commercials. But like, dude, this whole point about like safe sex and porns, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they have to keep getting tested and all that stuff. I get it, but it's like, what are the odds of you like 
you know, going out to a bar, meeting a dude, and, like, not having safe sex. You know, it's, like, extremely fucking low. No, bro, you'd be surprised. These bitches are fucking wild. Well, no, I get that they're wild, but I'm saying, like, how many people have, like... A disease. I don't think you understand how many women were completely okay with me fucking them raw dog on the first date, and I wasn't okay with it. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Car. I'm gonna say it's, you know, it's solid ninety percent. It's frustrating. Then people think, "Hey, fuck them right off the bat." Oh, okay. Yeah. By the way, you could have this really good sex today, and we're gonna give you a paycheck. Okay, that's what we saw. Um, yeah, it's really, it's frustrating that people think Okay, here we go. Um, what is your bro, he, favorite thing? He rates the girls he's done uh, yeah. videos with. Yeah. It's really funny. Okay. Yeah, it's really funny. It's really funny. Okay. Let's see. Let me let me just go through the video. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like we can keep switching subjects, bro. We're gonna go forever. <laughs> this video will we'll never go end. Go <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, and you want to reminisce later down the road? You just go on the internet. Just go check it out. Go watch it <laughs> and relive it. Yeah, we already saw this. Later down the road. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is this is the this is the main part of the video when she talks about civilians. Civilians. Civilians, because she's a professional. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Captain Danny Daniels. Yeah, it's really it's frustrating. They people think, "Hey, you're gonna fuck them right off the bat." Yeah. B. It's a lot of the ignorance of some people. And if they have never seen me, I don't know why. Like if I was dating a guy and he's like, "Oh, you're gonna meet my girlfriend. She's a porn star." Oh, never mind. Okay, so we saw this. Um. Like, oh, dude. Yeah, you are the idiot, though. a car. All dumb. Right. I mean, not just that right, example, yeah. just the example, it's like, they think I'm the idiot, I mean, like, not every secretary is like, how is she working here and able to drive a car? It's like, that's not what being an idiot means. That's like fucking motor mm -hmm. skills, like, that, like, you can be the smartest person mm -hmm. not know how to drive a fucking car. She just needs to pray that Taliban doesn't take over the country tomorrow, man. <laughs> yeah, seriously, bro, I think Mia Khalifa goes first, though. Uh, no, Mia is, like, is so much she, dumber, she, she, you know. She, 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 Oh god. Let it go. Yeah. She's just she's just shitting on everyone just to try to stay relevant. Basically, yeah. Everybody say your butt because nobody cares. A hundred percent that's what she's doing, yeah. Of course, I'm not gonna have sex with you because I'm a porn star. If a woman is not saying nothing to the imagination, you don't dream about her. You know what I mean? No. Like you said, degrading women. I, I mean, I think that everyone has a right to feel exploited. Okay, let's see. You know, people who say that, like, like these are the type of women you you have disrespectful sex with, treat them like garbage, and never yeah. call them back because yeah. you know that's how they want to be treated. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like how they ask to be treated. It's not a problem until they start asking for like a kids and a family. But that's that's exactly what like, I'm. That's exactly the problem with this. That's because yeah, they do the ask. Is the problem. Yeah. That is the problem, bro. That's why, like, like fucking... Yeah, but, like, yeah, that's... It's like selling your soul to the devil kind of thing and then expecting to get your soul back. <laughs> you know? It's like, yo, devil, uh, listen, I had my fun. Uh, give me back my soul. <laughs> you never know. Maybe like... the devil was so evil. And it was so, so smart. Maybe he will give it back because that's even worse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, maybe I don't know. Exploitative <laughs> of women. Um, I, guess, I think that everyone has a right exploitative. to feel what they okay. feel. I mean, some people get offended by porn. Some people think that, you know, like you said, degrading women. I, I mean, I'm not even surprised a lot of girls get exploited in, in porn. It, I'm sure a lot of them are just simply dumb. Yeah. They're just, dumb. they're just stupid to begin with, and it's easy to take advantage of them. Yeah, they like they get exploited in like the the payment scheme usually, right? The thing I don't understand about these people, they get in the hard financial times. Yeah. And they go into stripping and into porn. Yeah, you know, this I'm used to be... In the beginning of porn career, you don't really make that much money. <laughs> you don't. You don't. It's just so, easy, bro, fast you money. You don't for the money, you piece of shit, you liar. Well, you yes money, and no. Go to McDonald's. I mean, they make more than McDonald's, yeah. They can offer for them, sure. like, I'll give you 500 bucks for an hour of work. An hour of work is literally you fucking a guy, right? Like, maybe two hours. Yeah, I'm sure some of them don't even get that much. Ah, no, no, 500 bucks is not that much. percent of the industry, bro. I mean, right. yeah, sure, whatever. Maybe, I don't know. I don't think, I don't find her that attractive, to be honest, so. You what? I don't find her that attractive. It's not, she's not really my type of porn star. I've never seen any of her she's videos. Not she's not ugly, just not my type. 
<laughs> you know, it's like petite, you know, like there's not, you know, I like, I like big boobs and I cannot lie. Ah, yeah, respect. yeah, sometimes so fake, like sometimes movies. natural, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just Same really movies. not my style. Also, uh, I believe that when I was watching porn more religiously, I think she was too young. Not, not that she wasn't doing porn, but it's like I feel like, like, the like, I like, like, I like those, my milfs, uh, I like those milfies, you know, you and like just third 18 fucking kind of, yeah, it's like kind of like they so this is what I hate about those ones because like the ones who are like. 18 19 or just turn 18 or 19 they portray them purposefully to look like they're just 16 or some shit like they yeah, put like, like so I, much like, like purpose to make them look underage yeah, 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 yeah. You, i was like young and i just like found like lime wire just found out what porn was and shit yeah uh, i remember i saw one i just remember this this distinctly i came home from school i was like, like, <laughs> like i don't know 15 16 yeah, or some shit. yeah. and I'm watching it and I just remember thinking to myself like they uh, they showed her ID and she's like she just it's her birthday she just turned 18. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. And I'm just thinking to myself I'm like I just know that this is wrong. <laughs> yeah, basically, right? So like, it feels wrong. Know this but, is wrong. But that's the thing. That that the thing that like that makes you feel like it's wrong <laughs> makes you want to watch it even more. It's like oh this is so wrong. Oh, I can't okay, believe this is happening. And like, it gets you. Down that path. Yeah, 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 for sure. Right? So it's like, yeah, it's just fucked up. So like, that's why like, not really my type. I'm like, you know, I, I don't know. My, my categories changed often. It's like based on the mood kind of thing. If anything, so. someone has given me more self-confidence than I could have ever asked for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just talked about that. Too, and, uh, I went to high school. Uh, the other day, mm. I saw a video, what's it called? Lisa Ann? Yes. Or whatever. She was like, how come I can't get a second chance after my per yeah, excuse me? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, it's you have reputation for life. What do you what do you mean? What second chance? Yeah. You're fucking filthy rich. <laughs> you're famous. You have yeah. a platform. People want to listen to you. People yeah, that was the you. trade. That was the trade off, though. Yeah. What are you talking about? You sold your soul to the devil. What do you want? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's like I have these stalkers. That's like, what no, no, do we expect? You did, everything, you, you did everything for them to, to be there. Yeah. Like Uncle like, Joey says, uh, Uncle Joey. You, you do the devil, you gotta drink the cider. Yeah. Oh, what I want to say is like, you know how like uh, we were talking about like, oh, she had no money, so she decided to like do porn, whatever, and like that's how like they used to get them. There used to be a profession like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> there used to be a profession like that where like. You borrow money from somebody, you couldn't pay them back, they take your fucking daughter. They take your wife, you take your daughter, and they make them into fucking sex slaves. So <laughs> now they do it voluntarily. <laughs> it's like, bro, don't even need to work. It's like, this is how you got rid of uh, sh uh, loan sharks. You know, it's like, <laughs> people will do it voluntarily anyways. <laughs> it's so fucked up, bro. Oh, God. Like, and I can, like, and I'm not, like, gonna go have sex with that person, but I have the confidence that if I pass, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can guess why, but porn has given me so um, Almost every girl I've spoken to has said the same thing. Yeah, it's been cool. It's like really cool therapy. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> what, what, what? Uh, sorry. That's awesome. It's funny. So okay. So much her what? Mm -hmm. Oh. The yeah, confidence. She got so much confidence from doing porn. Okay. It's funny. I want to so see how confident confidence. you are when like three stalkers just like walk behind you all day. It's like, oh, you're so confident in what? In like, fucking being able to run away? Jesus Christ. I can approach people. And the other thing is it's like... It's not even... Yes, actually. This sounds better? Way better. That's clean. Yeah. Oh my god. What'd you do? I think my thing was boosted. But is it just oh. as loud? No, you're fucking perfect right now. Okay, finally. Jesus yeah. Man. Oh, you mean like your Discord was boosting the sound too much? I think my computer was boosting the sound. Oh, interesting. Or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's super clean now. Yeah, you're good. Perfect. Um. Yeah, yeah, no, you know how she's talking about like I have the confidence if I see something I like at the bar and I can just go approach whatever. You know why she has that? Because she's no, a woman. Not only that, that too, but not on that. Because in her mind, she's above others when it comes to sex. So she approaches him and he, he would be an idiot 
not to say yes, or she would be an idiot. True, right? But I guarantee you, mm. with some of these girls, some of these girls, yeah, even though it's their profession, are bad and bad. Oh yeah, I mean that's what the what's his name said, right? The the porn guy, Sterling Cooper or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, he said. Uh, yeah, I watched some of them. Yeah, I, I love his. Uh, like I love his uh, rating on uh, what's it called, yeah. on the porn stars. It's pretty funny to watch. And it's like, and then when you, phenomenal. he's yeah, and then like when you watch the video, you're like, okay, I can I can kind of see what he means. <laughs> like yeah, it's something yeah, you can see. He's one of the books I'm reading right now. It's one of his. He has a book. Yeah. This guy's crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe anyway, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. <laughs> <laughs> Need all the help I can get. Let's do a smile, please. <laughs> Yo, uh, please grab. The bike today. It's hilarious. Yeah. If you go past the eighty, uh -huh. the <laughs> the mirrors are useless. They just like, oh yeah, they fold in. Yeah, they fold in. Oh, what the fuck? That's yeah. That's not supposed yeah, to be. I think I need to screw them in a little more. I don't know. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, that sounds that sounds dangerous. With, uh, Remember Vi 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 uh, the old guy, the older one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. So I went with him for a ride, we drove nice. to like Stouffville and then uh, oh, shit. we rode around on Leslie. There was like a hundred police cars at like one spot Jesus on Leslie. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. Fucking ton of fun, huh? man. Yeah, I bet. Honestly, it sounds like pretty fun. Because um, Anyways, yeah. almost every girl I've yeah. spoken to has said the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you come, you come with social yeah. proof, you know? It's like, it's not... <laughs> It's not confidence when you have social proof. Imagine going to a bar and like you know everybody. Everyone's your friend, right? It's like you you are the highlight of the fucking bar. Everyone who works there, you know the owner, you know the DJ, you know the bartenders. Half the regulars are there and they all know you and it's like you approach somebody and it's like yeah, you have oh, all yeah, this fucking course, like confidence from just like being the shit in this place. Of course you're going to have a confidence boost, right? That's what you're well, coming also, with. Well, she's a porn star and she's a female. Yeah, well, she I'm saying, but that's what I'm saying. That's room. that's her social she's proof, ugly, right? Everybody wants to bang her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's the social proof, right? So it's like, yeah. is it really confidence, though? Or is it just, you know, fake confidence comes from, like, it's like stuff like that? I, I, beat, uh, I beat some game on easy mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm oh the God, shit. Look at me. I beat it on easy mode. Yeah, I beat Diablo 2 on, you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, normal. It's a good I job. Play Counter Strike with Aimbot. <laughs> yeah, I'm the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at me, I'm number one in the world. <laughs> so, I paid $16 oh, for bro, Aimbot. the funniest thing is uh, when the interview just started, she says like, "Oh, I had normal child, whatever." Now and, and then she says like, after when she dropped out of college. Uh, she became a stripper and I was like straight up daddy issues like right away I'm like daddy yeah, issues and then the funniest thing is when she asked like, her about her life she says like no she says like oh yeah like uh, I grew up with two moms and I was like daddy issues right there he was never there she, <laughs> she was moms. never there Bro, you had no father figure <laughs> yes yeah, straight up from not, Ma not yeah. just any man you can find you're literally looking for approval from every and, single yeah, man you could possibly exactly, get yeah we got you. There's a website for that. <laughs> Which I guess, when you look at things from that point, whatever, life sucks. Fair? I mean, uh, you know what I mean? do with the way she looks do, at yeah. you uh, when she's uh, and when she she's has all that money and sex. shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fair? Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, yeah, it's like, again, who am I to judge her? Like, I'm not really in the position, like, I'm not like the king of the world or whatever. No, and just but be like, you're a person but, living yeah. their life. You should judge people. Yeah, I mean, it's we all do. It's ridiculous not to judge people. Oh, yeah, no, I'm saying, like, I'm not saying I shouldn't. I'm just saying, who am I to, like, to have my opinion count for to her, for her, you know? It's like, well, it's whatever. Fuck her. Yeah, yeah, fuck. It counts to me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Dating's a nightmare. Oh, uh, here we go. Dating's so a nightmare. Oh, dude, this oh, is the so best bad. part. This is um, the best part. It's hard, you know, like, mm. like, we call people civilians if you're not in the business of civilians. Um, don't like that I have sex with a lot of dick. They don't like that. Like the, mm. the body very... movements she does when she says civilian. It's not only that, like, you would notice this in a lot of aspects. It's like she's embarrassed in some of the stuff she says. You see yeah. her, she she looks to the side, she looks down. Like, she, she says, like, a whole fucking, like, two, three sentences, not being able to look, not only at the person, not at the camera. She can't look anywhere near... Where she can actually see the, the face. Because, bro, she knows on some level. Like, I believe yeah, she's she, definitely I mean, embarrassed. Her, on some level, she understands yeah. that she should feel shame. 
Yeah, of course. There is. Right? Uh, there's a hundred percent. You can. And if you don't feel shame for that, you yeah. should feel shame about that. True, Should but also deep down the yeah. nose because but not only that, that though biology does it, what it does. She's definitely like another way to be like you can tell someone's like super embarrassed. They laugh about like nothing, often like all the time. Like like that that is another sign of like embarrassment, right? No, That's why I'm like when she says like I, she's no longer shy. I'm like, no, you're just like you can put on an act. It's like bro, you know me. I'm a very shy person, right? Overall. Like you don't yeah. really, no one really gets to know me for like the longest time. I don't really talk when we're in big crowds or whatever. I'm super shy, but I still went on that stripper pole when we went to the yeah. audition, right? And that's like, yeah, that's like it's an act. I didn't like it's like you, uh, like dissociate kind of thing. Yeah, you right? put on a mask and you go to work. Yeah, basically. So it's like yeah, that's all she is really. It's like just a massive fucking mask. Uncomfortable. And the mess is like getting bigger because she got fat. <laughs> I get it when they say like it's a job. Yeah. yeah it's always yeah. a job. But at the end of the day, I don't uh, believe you can be a woman, have sex with a man, and on some level, mm. not have some sort of feelings involved. And if you don't have feelings involved, uh, I mean, you got issues, girl. You got problems. You have something to deal with before. Okay, I would agree that until you said like until you said that's like you got issues. I was like, uh, I believe it's possible. And then so until she, and then you said she has issues. I'm like, yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> so yeah, if she has issues, I can totally see her like not. But again, it's like the whole thing of like dissociation, where it's like you feel like it's not like it's you sucking, but it's not you sucking the dick. You know, kind of. You know what I mean? I just feel like these women settle for the men they marry. Uh, I mean, yeah. And uh, even the, like, you know what I mean? Their choices the team, of marriage uh, is very limited. Know. Their choices Maybe of not, marriage, I think, again, is limited. At the end of the day, we're talking about like super extreme cases, right? It's yeah. more likely that you're gonna meet a girl that just had a high body count, but is not a porn star. That's already that's just. But even bad. that. But even that, yeah. Like as a guy, you don't want to marry that usually. Yeah, it's just as bad. It's not a wife material kind of thing, right? Let alone this, Cause bro. You like, know, cause you know, yeah. you know that she, so, like on a biological feeling level, yeah. she cannot connect with you a hundred percent. You got fifty other guys. She's been with fifty other problems. Blah blah blah. Yeah, you basically, know? yeah. That too, and but like honestly, my biggest problem, I would say, I mean, I already have a big problem with like when a girl is like has like a body count of like five, right? But <laughs> if you're a porn star. I mean, yes. If I could help it, yeah. Um, it's also in the Bible. Amen to that. But my biggest problem with like, if someone is like a sex worker and she gets married, I feel bad for the kids, man. Yeah, true. Imagine you, you go to high school, bro. Have you Rhodes' like, videos uh, when, when she's the... sitting there doing interview with her kid? No. I love the comments underneath. It's like... The, I didn't see... I never met her... Do. I never saw one the, the kid video. Ones is like, uh, that's everybody's baby. Oh yeah, that is oof. <laughs> oof. That kid is every yeah. race, they said. Yeah, basically. But again, like imagine like that kid goes through high school and his friends <laughs> find out about your kid. Baby. Yeah. So it's fucked up, man. Oh, I feel I bad for the kid, bro. Like that kid yeah. will not end up normal, you know? It's like he's gonna have like, some mental issues bro, for sure. Look at it this way. Even like Pamela Anderson's kid is like, oh my god. Yeah. My mom has a sex tape. But that thing was leaked. <laughs> It yeah. wasn't released, right? Yeah. It's a different story. Yeah. Well, everyone saw her boobs before that, right? She did, like, uh, what's it called? But it's, they didn't see, like, Final fucking Anderson full on porn. Fucking 11, right? Back then. Back then, yeah. Dude, did but, you know uh, she was on. Do uh, you remember the show uh, Married with Kids? The, was, that, was that what the. What's his name? The guy who does jujitsu? No. Married with Kids. Yeah. El Bundy. Pay peg. El Bundy. Yeah. Never mind. One second. One second. I'll uh, Google this. Yeah, you Google. I'll, I'll keep watching. With <laughs> um, it makes them. Yeah, that's what I'm talking care. about. I don't know. Oh, he did just. I don't know if he did just. He's a black belt in jujitsu. Oh, like is he? Okay, now. I didn't know that. Anyways. Yeah. I thought in the show he did jiu Anyways. Oh, dude, he's a badass. <laughs> dude, so anyways, I didn't know how many celebs were in that show as ho as guests. Pam Landerson was there, Mila Jovovich, whatever, like Resident Evil was there, Fergie was there, 
Fergie. Fergie was there. LeBlanc. I'm looking at it right now. Bro, yeah, so many celebrities, right? You're like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Like, Pamela and you don't Anderson, recognize them. That uh, witch, uh, Duchess of Sussex. Megan yeah, Michael. yeah, yeah. It's like crazy. I didn't know. I was like, because you don't recognize them. Let's see I mean, what I else do I know on here that, that was on that show. Oh, this, okay. It makes them insecure. Here's here's the best topic of this conversation. One sec, let me put the volume on so I can hear this weird lady. This weird lady. Got it? Yeah. It makes them very insecure. I mean, I have sex with huge pieces. Yeah. Like big, like like this, like like this is <laughs> what I do every day. So a guy that's like six inches, which is totally fine and which feels amazing. Look at her amazing. smile He's when like, she so says how big they were. Yeah. Uh, some you know, people... she's not, if you read the role of Tomasi, that's like an alpha widow for multiple people, you know what I mean? <laughs> she literally took like a 12 inch uh, fat flung up her uh, poop and shopping, right? Yeah, 100%. Like, <laughs> poop and you shopping. know what I mean? Like, to a certain degree, you're like, yeah, that's freaky, that's cool. But you're like... It's cool as in, as like... And you know, you go to the zoo and you see a monkey doing some weird shit. It's like, oh, that's cool. That's the kind of cool it is. It's, it's not cool, cool in the as sense in of like... like you'd bang her, but if she was there when yeah. you woke up the next morning, you'd be like, what are you still doing here? I yeah. paid you. I pay you to leave. Yeah, you know basically, I mean? it's like, it's get like... out. <laughs> yeah, basically, though. That yeah, that's what it is. In your life. <laughs> no, she's like really. that in everything she does. It's like maybe as a call girl sometimes, but yeah, that's about it, right? It's like uh, it's just. Just Probably, you, you'd yeah. be always be thinking as a man you'd always be thinking like you're fucking her and you're like she's like is she faking it you, no matter what uh, she's been fucked better than me what am i who am i compared to a that's only if you star? consider a relationship if you're using her for like you know as a nice uh, warm hole then like you don't give a shit if she's having fun you just want to finish and have well, a blast yeah. and like you know send her on her way that's that true. kind of thing so it's like and but again that's the treatment she w- as she's expected to get from men like that's yeah you're just like another nice warm moist hole you know it's like, oh yeah you know, I, think no. should be legal, I i'm totally fine i should, should be yeah ah, i mean prostitution's legal prostitution should be legal but porn should be limited very limited like very 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 limited like very difficult i feel like it should be harder to not hard but like i think facebook should auto post that you're watching porn when you're watching oh man that would be hilarious but (laughs) i think that would also cause a lot of problems a hundred percent no like (laughs) other problems like in the sense it's like everyone will always be watching porn like they will get desensitized to that warning of well, it being shared. Right. Maybe that yeah. would be the downfall of society. People yeah, that, that would probably shared. be like way worse. It's, it's, how people into zombies, it's like, oh, like, look, this guy's watching porn. porn. Yeah, it's like you go on Facebook, it's like, oh, your friend's watching porn. You know, I kind of feel like watching porn now, too. <laughs> <laughs> you message him, you start yeah. saying, Yo, bro, I'm also name. watching porn. Yeah. <laughs> the oh, goes down the drain. <laughs> it's like it becomes you, you, you become jerk Oh, my God, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just irritating, and I I, I understand it. When I ride the motorcycle, I ride the motorcycle. When I don't ride the motorcycle, I watch videos of people ride motorcycles. Jesus. Uh, it's very hard to be someone that has sex every single day with other people. uh, Um, It's very hard to be with a person who has sex every single day with other people. Yes. Thanks, Captain Obvious. But here's the, like... So she does have common sense, she understands. No, she does, yeah, she does, but it's like... Okay, so she knows what she's doing, and she does it anyway, so... Oh, God. <laughs> what is she want? It's like, imagine, like, mm-hmm. uh, here, here's the argument you're gonna have. Like, let's say your wife is a porn star, right, and you come home from days of work, and like, honey, let's fuck, right? And she's like, oh, I'm so exhausted from work. Why? Because you've been fucked by so many men? You don't even want to <laughs> fuck your husband? <laughs> Unless you're the type of guy that wants oh my God, your man. friends to fuck your girl. Basically, yeah. Hey, sharing right. is scaring, right? It's like, what's mine is there yours. Are, there <laughs> are men out there who like it. Yeah. That's their thing. Yeah, all of Aurora, bro. Iri, what iri. <laughs> all of Aurora. Yeah, oh, no okay. Jealousy factor. Yeah. There's the anyway. two I size up <laughs> factor. Continue. There's the idea that all of your friends have. I love that she thinks that's like this is what men are really actually like insecure, but I'm sure there are. Yeah, don't get me wrong. She has no understanding. It's ridiculous to but, me. After all that dick, she has no understanding of a man. But it's like, yeah, it's like, do these factors matter to an extent? Yeah, I guess to some guys, yeah, but that. 
they're like one or two percent of like what actually matters. What All matters is, is you are fucking other guys. <laughs> a guy of a certain standard at a certain yeah. level would never right? you yeah. reach a certain level, that's yeah. your glass ceiling. Like guys above that level, yeah. You're not an option to them in the long term. You cannot yeah. be. You cannot be the mother of their children. Yeah. It cannot happen in nature. Yeah. In, in their nature, you know what I mean? Bro, imagine some guy was like watching but porn. The man you were with. Is yeah. I mean, Either yeah, lower bracket or low quality man. Yeah, that's it. A lower bracket man. Either way, but I like, have imagine. Two legs, let me shoot myself in that one. Imagine you're like a porn star. Uh, sorry, you're a dude watching porn, and okay. you fall in love with the porn actress as you're watching it, and because of that, you decide to become a fucking gazillionaire, and then in order to meet her and to wife her. <laughs> Bro, you don't need to become a gazillionaire. Those girls. Uh, I know, but like that's a, what motivates you. That's what motivates you. Imagine. Uh... I'm sure it won't be the first the case, you, but the pussy is uh, probably like very yeah. Onto porn, the quality of that pussy and the quality of those girls yeah. is much higher than like right. If she wasn't doing porn and you didn't know that she can uh, suck your dick like no one else, yeah, she's like a fucking six at best. Oh yeah, probably. Uh, yo, look at this. Average. Look at this. Uh, can you use okay? I I sometimes have these like moments where it's like I can I freeze a picture. And then I can already see what this person's gonna look like when they're old. And yeah. like, I'm not impressed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you can already see what she's gonna look like when she's older, like 20 like years a, oh, from now, and you're like, I kinda don't want to, you the know? It's like, you already see. About it. That's what she's gonna yeah, look you already like. see the, you know, the, what they call it? The eyebrows and shit. Yeah. We have seen me naked armor and, and seen me with things inside yeah. me. Uh, you what know, she doing that's right not gonna go away. Screaming. There's always gonna yeah. be my holes on the internet. And Which, for something in a serious relationship, that's very, very hard for someone to cope with. Yeah. So it's very rare that it works, and when it works, it's Wait, awesome. that girl's hot. There's also the fact of you have to get tested. The what? At least that girl's hot. Who? Amaranth? Oh, uh, dude, she's so disgusting. Watch her leaked only fans. Just watch it. You'll you'll never think she's hot again. She's really hot with clothes and not zoomed in. Yes, I would give her that. Ah, uh, okay. But well, like, I watch guess. leaked only fans. You'll be like, oh my god. The closer she comes, the more of her. I see. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really not attractive. All the time. She also like gained weight. Like she used to be attractive like five years ago. She was blonde as well, but now it's like nose is too big and pointy. Elbows uh, too pointy. Elbows too pointy. Uh, thighs have no definition. They're just like you know whatever. Ass is it's like whatever. Freddy. Basically, yeah, it's like because she doesn't need to anymore, right? It's oh, fucking. Well, she makes like millions. Yeah. Of, she makes millions a month, bro, just from her OnlyFans. Oh my Money's god. Not real, bro. We live in the Matrix. None of this Seriously, is real. man. Because if you cheat on me as much uh -huh. as I trust it's crazy you, how you can cost me my job. The world you changed so much from what we were kids. Is it the same for a bear? So like, so now I'm asking my boyfriend or girlfriend to get tested regularly this because I'm not responsible, we but they're taking it as I don't trust you. Mm -hmm. You know. It's like, oh no, you're gonna cost her her job. Uh, what do you think about this one? She asks her uh, partners to take uh, tests, not because she doesn't trust them, but because it can cost her her job if they did cheat on her. Well, bro, it's then then she knows that her relationship is cuck. It's a cuck relationship. That's it. But it's just as simple as that. That too, but I mean, like, do you actually think she trusts them if she has to ask them to do a test? Uh, maybe there is some sort of uh, contract thing that uh, production companies do. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, they do, you, for sure. You have to, not only you, but we have to test your husband as well type of deal. Oh, no, no, like the husband has to test and show her that he doesn't have anything. There's not, like just, no one... Just because she asked? Yeah, 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 yeah. she's partner. asking, yeah, yeah. I mean... Do you think that that shows if that she, she doesn't trust uh, him? If she knows that he's banging broads on the side, I guess that's a normal. Oh thing no! For if us. yeah, but I mean, like, there he he's not. He's supposedly not. And okay, say say that the relationship is open on her end and closed on his. Based, well, it's open on her end that's, for porn. It's just another cuck. It's not normal. Well, to me, it's not normal. It's just another. Cuck yeah, yeah, no, I get that. I'm just saying thing. about the whole like trust thing. It's disgusting. Is she trusting him if she's asking him to do not. tests? 
because it's it can cost trip, her her bro. job. It is a power trip, straight up. For, for her, everything is a power trip. Look I'm sorry, her, it is a power trip. Look at the evil eyes. Look yeah. at this fucking frame <laughs> you stuck there. <laughs> the you evil can eyes. see the devil just... She's looking down on the men she's imagining, you know? She's looking down on whoever she's imagining when she's saying this. <laughs> so there's that issue. And, and it's like, oh, did you see that? Look at that, uh, look at that uh, facial expression when she does, when she says it. You know, when she says what? This. But they're taking it as I don't trust you. This. One sec. This. So there's that. See that? The whole like. It's this is a situation that happened. This 100% what she's saying right now happened. What is she saying though? She's basically talking. The volume of the. Oh okay. She's saying that. uh um, she's asking the men she's dating to take the test, not because she doesn't trust them, but because she needs it to not get fired from her job. Because if mm. he got, if he does get something and he gives it to her and she gives it to her co-worker, she will lose her job. The entire porn industry stops for like two weeks, isn't that how that works? Yeah, basically, yeah. Because like everyone stops fucking. <laughs> but, it happens pretty yeah. often. Yeah, 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 yeah but the way she did this right like when she said it and she did like that brush it shows that's like man that was that was a fucking issue back then you know it's like it's if you think about that way right so like, this is the facial expression when you think back on an issue that happened that's exactly what the expression you do we are like oh fuck yeah that fucking that was bad you know kind of like you know what i mean yeah <laughs> yeah so All that so it definitely this. happened to her my stance is this, I've heard someone else say it, yeah. we want debt-free virgins <laughs> Debt free with, virgins, uh, yeah. That haven't done anything you know, Oh, you like so to, you educate you want, them? You want her to be, like you want your girl to be your slut, your whore Right? You want her to Yours do all these disgusting things yeah. that uh, Yours uh, specifically her name though. is uh, does for us, right? Yeah She wants, uh, to, you know, when uh, like Girls don't really like to be called sluts or whores, right? She wants to be called... In private, though, they... Your whore. Yeah. Like, you're my slut. Yeah. Right? Fair enough, because, yeah. Because uh, girls love that. Uh, but I think... Um, maybe in her relationship, I really do think she enjoys that... That cuck relationship. Yeah, probably. Maybe but at the same time... Maybe she booty hole with the strap on. Could be. There's nothing wrong with that. Though, they, at the same time... Own. At the same time... She might have just wanted a kid from him and he has, was like, okay, like, he can support me and I just want a kid and it's like, I don't care about him at all. May yeah, maybe and she's it's like, just playing either way, the game, she yeah. found the rich dude, she's just playing the game. Yeah, she just wanted a kid and like, her 95% oh. of her attention is on the kid anyway, so it's like, it doesn't matter who the 5% is. Or maybe if we live in La La Land, uh, oh, this is a, a yeah. true love story and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, life is rainbows and... Well, life okay, is rainbows. Life is rainbows. Depends on the substance you take. And then, so you're like, okay, well, I'm then tired I'm of uh, civilian, having to defend thing. my point uh, in everyday uh, life. I'm we want death-free virgins <laughs> <laughs> with uh, strong family values. Oh god! And we want to perform. We want to perform in life as men, so that when we come home, our woman can be. Ignorant, you know what I mean? Live in La La Land. I went, uh, you're like, you know, you have went to war that day, and you come home and your girl's like, oh, I went shopping, I mm -hmm. bought food, <laughs> I want to try this new type of pasta. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you want your girl to be like blind to the evil of the world. But then she does everything uh, for you, right? That's why you call your girl she, your baby, right? Worthy of that. So you call your girl baby, right? It's okay, baby. Because yeah, <laughs> you want to like, be a fucking baby. It's, it's like the good, it's the good girl uh, dynamic, right? Oh, uh, good. That could be. I don't know. Uh, it's it's a weird it's a weird one because at the same time like, you know, it's like you want her to be also be a human being like you, but it's like it's also like you're not. She's a human being like me. She yeah. made her choices. I'm yeah. a in certain things. I made my choices. Yeah. I can't but, take him back. Why the fuck should I? But I feel like, should I go? Why am I supposed to go run around and cry to other people about the shit I fucked yeah. up? Yeah. And, basically. Uh, give me a second chance. Uh. Uh, that's Lisa, I guess. <laughs> well, for example. Yeah. Right? Well, no. What I'm saying is, it's like, do you feel, in a sense, men get away with more shit than women, for past mistakes? You know, you paid your dues for the mistake. 
and now you know the rest of your life. Absolutely not. Women you feel get like, away with mm, everything. Huh? Women get away with yeah. everything? Yeah. Except when it comes to sex. Blood, but not even. Most men don't think like we do. Fair enough, actually. Yeah. All right. There's a ridiculous amount of men that marry these whores. It's true. I mean, shit. Women get away with murder and then it's like, yeah, I'll marry her. <laughs> it's like she killed her last husband. Yeah, but she's still hot. I think it's more uh, the other way around, to be honest. Could be. With that example. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more women are willing to go for crazy killer alpha male type dudes than yeah. guys going for crazy girls. Even though a lot of men end up with like bipolar girls, right? Yeah. We yeah. we know a person who lived with a bipolar person. I know. Like for example, okay, like let's take a cheating person, right? If you're What's cheating. Cheating, like fucked another dude while she's in a relationship with you. That's not uh, cheating. That's betrayal. Women be betray and okay. men cheat. Okay, what's the difference? Cheating is okay, betraying is not okay. Okay. <laughs> what What's the difference in the act? Uh, men are allowed to exercise their options. Okay. And uh, if women <laughs> do that, that's disgusting and haram. That's what. That's exactly what I'm saying, right? It's like why is Why is there that difference? You know. That's what I'm saying. Because like because back in the day, back there in the... was no way to guarantee paternity. If your bitch <laughs> fucked three dudes in like three months, whose baby is it? What's up, Karig? Uh, men are not involved in cheating. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying men are no, not, not you, involved not you, in cheating. No, not you, not you, the chat. Oh. They're just spreading their dick. <laughs> they're just spreading their dick. They're practice. not cheating, they're just spreading their dick, bro. It's just practice. <laughs> Okay, all right. It's if just yeah, yeah. I'm just getting value. practice for my girl, you know. <laughs> if you are a man of value and that yeah. woman's life is better because you provide her uh -huh. a lifestyle, yeah, you provide her with everything. Her life is better because of you. You do your duty as uh -huh. a man to her. You treat her well. You take her on dates. You yeah. bang your girl. You treat her like uh, not a queen or whatever. You're a woman, right? Yeah. You can cheat. <laughs> okay because what? it's just another girl you know mm -hmm. you and i both know that you can bang a girl yeah you can bang a girl it could be the wildest no, wildest sex of your life the best uh-huh you, you turn around she gets hit by a bus you couldn't care less you, never you have some dignity again. no you can't fuck other chicks Oh, you have like something. You, you have to tell her. You can't hide behind her back. It's not like you're running, be cheating. Behind you're not her betraying. Back. You're not betraying her. You're just you're fucking. Not, you're not cheating behind her back. She yeah, yeah, knows yeah. what's up. Okay. It's not uh, running behind her back. Yeah, you're just you like. You need to be a man and be like. Uh, Plus, I'm going full Indiana Jones. Full Indiana Jones. Plus, I'm going full Indiana Jones. So good luck with that. <laughs> Okay, so okay, take that in reverse. Okay, you are a man. It's betrayal. If okay. a woman no, 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 it, wait, 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 wait a second. I get, I get. In normal circumstances, what if yeah. you are being taken care of by the woman? Absolutely not. That's not okay. You're not doing your do. You're not doing your full duty. Okay, you are doing the woman's job, and the woman's doing the man's job in the house. Uh, Can absolutely not okay. It's not okay for either one of you to cheat at that point. You don't deserve it. So no one's allowed to cheat at that point. Yeah, you, you as a man, you don't, you haven't earned that uh, right. Uh huh. But the woman earned the right to cheat, no? Because no. she's taking care of you now. No, uh, the m no. But that's a marriage. It's haram. It's the part of marriage for a woman. <laughs> it's haram. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Fucking. Who really. doesn't provide for his woman? Who doesn't treat? He's a her shitty well. man. Sure. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a, a shitty man. He doesn't deserve okay. that. Well, okay. First of all, he doesn't deserve the relationship with that woman. Okay, but he got the relationship. Body. Okay. But not. But oh, she wants to fuck. Guy. Is this your friend? What? No. I'm, I'm oh, literally it's taking the hypothetical. Cool their, uh, thing? Yeah, he just joined the show. Yeah. Ah, cool. Yeah. I don't know He's a new know. follow. Thank you, Karik, for following, by the way. I, I, I only saw the follow now. Yeah, we're just, <laughs> just talking about <laughs> This porn conversation has been going on for a very long time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're saying even if the tables have turned, the woman is taking care of the man in this point, uh, she's not allowed to cheat. With a man. She's not allowed to cheat, even if it's she. There she is tells no her. Circumstance other than cuckoldery, or uh, <laughs> if the man is into it, that it's okay for a woman to step to the side with another man. Okay, I see. I see your point of view. Okay, 
Karig, what's your opinion? Let's see what he says, but... He's, he's not agreeing with you, so he... I'm assuming Karig wants to I'm say that... I'm not agreeing with that, that's okay. Actually, Everybody I'm not gonna assume, I'm gonna let him... I'm gonna let him type it out. I but, wonder, uh... Yeah. I wonder what he's saying. One sec, I'll grab some water. Yeah, yeah, no, Oh, yeah, bro. Hack. Just have all the water here. But don't. What don't you... Okay, which part did you not agree with, Karig? With what he said? Uh, all good, no worries. I, for the most part, I I yes, can interpret what you're saying. My English is not good, though. Okay, all good, well, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no. Okay, so I you don't agree. Conversation. Yeah, uh, you don't agree with Dr. <laughs> big Diddles, <laughs> the PhD. No big Diddles. No big Diddles, no big diddles PhD. Uh, <laughs> you don't agree with him on the point that if the man is the cuck, and uh, the woman is uh, paying all the bills, taking care of the men. She is she allowed to cheat then? I feel like nah, both, no, ways, both are ways are bad. Okay, so cheating cool. overall is bad. Okay. Ah, so you think that if you're in a relationship... That's uh, fine if you're idealist. Oh, he's an idealist. You think that, we're all uh, idealists, really. Okay, no, yeah, understandable. That's fine. You believe, like, uh, men and women should marry, and men and women should stay together forever. And have a family, and uh, no, need neither the man nor the woman should uh, step to the mm -hmm. side. No, I think he agreed with you when he said that... Um... Mm. No, I don't. Okay. Mm. Okay, is cheating bad or good? Yeah, not quite following. I just said like that. Cheating, is it bad or is it good? I mean, well, that's kind of like a... I want I men want and women have, have agreement. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you're not cheating, it's like open marriage, ah, open you, relationship. Okay, well, okay. If you're starting to date someone and have a relationship with them, uh, when you have that talk, they should both parties should know what they're getting into. If you're the type of man who mm -hmm. doesn't believe that, uh, yeah, I mean, that, uh, that men should okay, do that, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, that, that's fair yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I agree. agree I agree. Okay, if both sides should know what's up, like uh, the, it's not no, neither side needs to hide behind anything. Yes, because they're close-minded. Cool. Okay, true. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Women should be, women yeah, should I agree. Be you can't just say like... <laughs> should be open because that's where the um <clears throat> yeah, their legs should be open. They want traditional man. Yeah. Everyone else. But <laughs> they are like full poker. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. But I mean yeah. everybody is yeah. that's life. Yeah, that's, uh, the better you are at it, the better you are with women, men, business, anything. Fair enough, yeah. Um what I want to say, call, fuck, I'm going through. oh yeah, yeah. If you're in a relationship with a person, right, and then you want to change the terms out of nowhere, yeah, that never works. It's unfair, right? but let's say, for example, you become in a relationship and you build some sort of, you invent the next Amazon or whatever. Yeah. Right? You're like, yeah. Kanye, listen, I do everything for you, but I want girls on the side. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at this point, it's a conversation you're willing to have, but it's uh, you re renegotiate the contract, right? But at that point, she has full right to say, yeah. I don't think so. Uh, I don't feel comfortable with this. We started this thing together, right? Then it's like a... Yeah, like it's a okay, deal it's regardless. Like a, it's a trade. It like an example, uh, an anatomy or whatever. Not an anatomy, uh, an anomaly. I think to win a heart um, that has heart a of twitch. That has a twitch. I think to win a heart of a god that has twitch. Okay, I don't understand. I might understand, but either way, yeah. It's all good, it's fine. Alright, let's keep going with the video where <laughs> fuck it's like, bro, yeah, it's been an hour it. 20 on a 20 minute video. <laughs> it's but crazy. We're, we're good content. Look, we're oh no, it's good, it's good. We're having an interesting conversation. Seriously? Yeah, this video is 20 minutes, we've been on it for like an hour and a half, bro. There's yeah. so much conversation going on around this, it's crazy. <laughs> I still didn't like shower, I can smell myself. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's okay, we can't, so we're good. Like <laughs> man and right? industry and they get no and, uh, no. Dead mosquitoes. <laughs> no 
<laughs> Dated two guys in this industry. I love them both very, very much to this day. Nothing bad to say about them. Oh, this is this is the work. best part. Rarely it does, and it's fantastic. Here's why. Um, Dana has fully said something awesome the other day on set that stuck with what me, and it said like, it works if you have the same goals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you have uh, Mark Wood and Francesca Lay, which are hear. very, very, they're very, very successful couple. They have similar goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Manuel and Caden, mm -hmm. you know, happily married. Um, six, you know, similar goals. Yeah. I have not been so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink for you guys, yo. Cheers, man. It's Cheers. Because we're jealous. <laughs> we are all fucking each other. Like, imagine going to a mm, store. Mm, mm, mm. Good night. Thank you for stopping by. Yo, good night, man. Thanks for stopping by. Yo, so listen what she said, right? She said it doesn't work because you, she is the one who gets jealous now, dating a porn star. I somewhere heard. Somebody talk about this. I this specific thing, right? This. this specific thing. Like yeah, the double standard. Or uh, maybe even. Uh, yeah. Sterling. Could be Sterling. Uh, but yeah, how double standard is that? You want to date a civilian, but the problem is that civilians get jealous or whatever. And now she says she can date porn stars because she gets jealous. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Fucking retard! Yeah, I can't say stars, that either. word. <laughs> Dude. We'll, we'll bleep it up. Yeah. We'll bleep it up. Are you fucking beep? Well, it is what it is. That's with everyone in that school. Uh huh. Trying to date people mm, in that school. Yeah. They wow. Just your friend yesterday. Dude, like, imagine you're like dating a porn star and like you're having a barbecue and she brings all of her co-workers in. Oh my god, it's gonna be so much fun. The, all the guys and girls she banged. It's like, bro, that's the just same exact situation. Guy, when you're around. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah. Again, unless you're into that type of thing. Right? Unless you're the type of Let's guy assume you're like, normal. Let's assume you're normal. Right? You're, you're not a guy. Friends, I want you to bang my girl. Right? Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. You, you can't bring a girl like that around your dudes. You're gonna get murdered. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, probably. They will be like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. I watched a porn one time, right? And this, uh, oh, uh, this one specifically, right? <laughs> this one specifically. <laughs> this one specifically was like a, a guy and a girl. They're like, you know, a married couple, whatever. They were having an argument, and she got mad, and then she invited all of his friends over and just fucked them all in front of him. And I was like, yo, what the fuck is this shit? First of all, <laughs> this is fucked. What kind of friends are those? Yeah, what kind of friends are those, right? And they're like looking and like, hey, man, but your wife is hot. <laughs> <laughs> shittiest friends but like yeah it's like this is exactly the the scenario right that's the scenario you bring your friends around her and she's like you know what i kind of want to fuck all of your friends <laughs> Dude, uh, this shit's crazy that's oh, why they man. say uh you know, as a man all you can really do is focus on yourself dude yeah seriously y'all are going to dinner well i mean it's the also easier I, to focus on yourself like you I can't trust the anybody more I see these types of women the more i meet weird women in day-to-day -day life the more I cherish my wonderful girlfriend. <laughs> Fair enough. But, you know, my boyfriend fucked you in the ass last night. It doesn't matter how respectable you are and how much you take your job seriously, like, you will still get jealous. Mm -hmm. It's it's very, very hard to not get jealous. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Ima so imagine being a civilian who's not in that industry dating a porn star. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like how jealous they would get. Yo, well, I don't want you Just think about it. She comes home after yeah. a long day of work and she's like, baby, I can't fuck you today. My uh, ass hurts. <laughs> my ass hurts. Like, uh, there was an accident on set. Uh, I tore my butthole uh, from this 12-inch cock that I took. Uh, <laughs> it's like... Enough lube. Bro, I'm sorry, you can't okay. fuck me for three weeks now. Would you like, even... Fuck, man. Uh, would you even be able to make out with your girl if she's a porn star? Again, if you're into it, yeah. Well, I'm like saying, if, if you're normal, you're, uh, if you're normal, average dude, I don't think so. Right, unless you like, like come, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, bro, like, uh, what, what, what kind of relationship do you expect aside from like your guy being either bisexual or a cuck? <laughs> you know, it's dangerous out here, bro. It's dangerous. Yeah, it's fucked up, bro. The expectations. Person, because that's your ex-boyfriend. Well, I don't want you to work with that Something's person because here. you know you fucked her one night, and so oh, it becomes God, this very bro. toxic relationship like it's very like well now you're keeping me from being successful with my job you know okay. and then you have other things like she's talking about all this like she didn't know it going stable. in stable you're either dumb or blunt both probably like you know what if you're stupid why are we listening to you why does your opinion even matter 
Uh, honestly, it... <laughs> Why are we to what is your first of all, that? good content. Second of all, <laughs> it brings on a lot of different yeah. like speculation com and uh, conversations about speculations, right? It's like it's, like it's not even like it's not even like most of our conversation wasn't even about her. It was about situations revolving si something that can happen around her. Like what kind of man would date her? You know, it's like it's not like what kind of man she would date. It's like what kind of man would date her? You know, that was pretty much our discussion, right? I don't really care what she has to say. It's like I'm taking her points and I'm like I'm putting that in the scenario of like I'm flipping it like on who I actually whose opinion I would actually care about, which is like the average dude listening to this, right? If you're an average dude, would you date a porn star? Right? I have you a wish. video you think you do you wish you do but uh, yeah, after you probably a week not or two, yeah you're gonna ask her to stop i have a video it's not great but it's like i have videos like uh literally titled like don't date uh sex workers yeah, well, <laughs> straight up they're fucked. only fans born strippers don't date them <laughs> it's like just don't it's not a good fucking setup right you know mia molkova that person okay but you know all of her yeah. Yeah, she's dating a streamer, right? And I was like, oh, you're so dumb. Like, why are you dating her? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? If but, I was 20, but he might be gay, so I'm not sure. Look, if I was 20 years old and I was a streamer. He's not 20, he's like in his 30s by now. Okay, if I was a uh, famous Maybe streamer. Maybe close to 30, yeah. And, uh... Would you date an OnlyFans chick? No. I date an OnlyFans girls, but you maybe I would never date her exclusively. Yeah. I'd put her in rotation. Yeah. Like, again, that's different. I'm talking about like a, a relationship, right? Mm, what relationship can we have? What what? That's what that's my point. For me? But that's my point, Other right? Than sex. That's my point, right? It's like, would you actually be in a relationship with yeah. her? Right. What's the likelihood she's interesting? Yeah. Right. It's like, and like she has multiple videos getting triple uh double and triple bang by like dudes you know it's like do you want that as a girl, girl? I have nightmares about that yeah it's like bro like do you really want to like want to see that and i feel like if you do like you're either gay or you're a cuck you know it's like one or the other and again i i am pretty sure he swings both ways like just the way he acts so like I'm i don't sure know there, no. but he yeah it's like stuff. oh my god bro Every great society that ever fell, it fell from started, within. They started, uh, yeah, it fell from within, and they because the men got like weak. That men, woman men stuff, became weak, yeah. And it started with like they perverted the, the sad yeah. people's sex. Yeah, yeah. All the great empires, yeah. And the uh, U.S. is following suit. Well, work. I might work five days a week. That's what it is. Uh, no, no king rules forever. It's a quote from Warcraft. <laughs> It's the best cinematic in Warcraft. No king rules forever. Someone else in the business, they might work one day a week, they might work five days a week. So having the same day off is very, very okay, hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, like, it's 20, 20 seconds. So it's like, it's well, tough. Never. It's a very yeah. hard thing to do. I'm not saying it never works. It's just very rare that it does. Mm -hmm. So dating is um, doesn't really happen. <laughs> yeah, it's very rare to find a girl that does porn. But yeah. it's uh, not a very rare to find a girl who's a whore. <laughs> well said <laughs> bro oh man that yeah that's uh that is the video bro i've like it's i think i wait, waited like two weeks to watch this this is like this super video? old yeah because like it's been on my feed here forever and i want to watch it on stream but it's like it j i just never got to it so i finally got to it and so you see why so now we're in a half it's like it's very long. Jesus Christ, man. Oh yeah, anyways, that's the video. Yeah.